has thousands of followers around the world who hail her as India's greatest living saint. She teaches a state of self-realization and happiness and says that with a spiritual force she can cure the incurable. She's speaking at public meetings in Bedford tonight and Northampton tomorrow and today she gave her first television interview in England. Our reporter is Rebecca Atherstone. Her Holiness, Mataji Namala Devi, is known around the world for her healing powers. Her followers look upon her as divine. Mother, as she is referred to, preaches a gospel of peace and has discovered a spiritual force called Kundalini, which is shown on this chart. She can release it in seekers, as she calls them, to give them complete awareness. She admits that many Westerners are skeptical of her powers, but she scorns the idea of charging money for her gift. Her claims of success in curing and healing are remarkable. Alcoholics have been known to give up drink, drug takers have been cured, but perhaps most extraordinary of all, she claims to have cured many cancer victims. How many people have you managed to cure who've had cancer? Thousands, I, I don't know. Thousands? Uh, yeah, I should what, say. What do doctors think of what you say? You see, the trouble is, I myself I have done medicine and uh, the doctors are the people who are working with the shoot side of life, you see, not the roots of it. So the trouble with them is that anybody starts talking that it can be cured by a higher method than a human awareness, then they don't want to jump into that awareness, which is a higher awareness but one has to achieve, because human awareness is still transitory. You have to achieve that awareness, which is the divine awareness. When you have that awareness, then only you can cure it. How would you describe yourself, as a healer or a spiritualist? You see, I do not want to fall into any category myself, because uh, I'm a housewife and I have to do all the jobs of a housewife. I'm also a diplomat's wife, so I have to act as a diplomat's wife. I'm also a person who has to uh, do this work of Sahaja Yoga, so I don't know how to describe myself. Can I ask you if you can reach me? Yes, yes, one can reach masses. Now, we have to first see, in your case now, what is the problem? First is that there's an imbalance, a little imbalance, because you have to work outside too much, I think you have to go out too much and don't have much time for your emotional life. So it's more that you are more mental and physical, but less of emotions in you. So there has to be a balance. So first I give you a balance like this, all right? I have to put you into balance now. Now this is, you are working with your mind too much, so you are overworking it, so your liver is out and the liver is also excited. So to put it right, what we have to do is to just put you... What are you doing? Just I am removing the liver pressure. The liver is expressed in this part and this part of the hand. So your liver pressure is reduced. It's very simple. Now, is anyone watching this going to have, feel any effect from you? From me? Yes. No, no, no effect. No. No, no, nothing. Because it is just, you see, it's like construction of the destruction. You just take out the destruction out of the construction, that's all. It's very simple. Now, what I'm doing now, you have to now just say within yourself or loudly if you want to, say that, Mother, I forgive everyone. Just say that. Mother, I forgive everyone. Yes, you have to say thrice. Now, let's see. Say it. Mother, I forgive everyone. Okay. Mother, I forgive everyone. Okay. Mother, I forgive everyone. Now, see. Is it flowing? A little bit. It's very sensitive. It's very subtle. Well, I can, I can feel the yeah, that's nearness of it. Yes. It started. It started, you see. Just uh, what I'm making a cross on your hand. You see, that's Christ who said you have to forgive. Now, see, it's working. And what will it do for me in the long run? The, in the long run, that you, it is your own power now will manifest. You have this power within yourself. Now with this you will feel very peaceful. You will control your thoughts. You don't have to think all the time. You can rest without thinking. If you want, you can think, otherwise you need not think then your own powers will be manifested by which you can give this power to others. There's so many things you can do. 